Welcome to the MBX Films Theater, now showing the 1995 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Movie. Because I've got all these McDonald's Power Rangers toys from that time period. Had the Rangers and their Zords and little vehicles. So we're going to look at this whole lineup. You might notice somebody's missing. No Red Ranger, but we've got a brand new one we'll open up so we can check out the full line here. Here's how they came as... These just kind of plastic bags had the McDonald's, collect all six. Uh, so we'll open this up after we look at the others here. So we're talking the movie, so we're at White Ranger territory on the show. And this is uh, Tommy that started out as the Green Ranger for the beginning. And then what's interesting is uh, around the time of the movie, uh, they've, they've changed their Zords like this uh, already on the show. They started with the Dinos, like you can see here, Pterodactyl and, and things like that. But since then, they would have switched already. Uh, the green Dragon Zord matching those. This is the White Ranger then that had the Tiger, White Tiger Zord, to match theirs that have all already changed to a strange, you know, different animal, like mythical animals, I believe is the, the theme of that one. And then here, the film is the third set of Zords of the big machines that you would use. And all of those are from uh, different Super Sentai shows in Japan, and they've just used the footage of the Zords. So, started out with the green, uh, uh, Dragon Zord, he had the White Tiger Zord, and then this movie introduced uh, that he would have the White Falcon. So here's his Falcon, and then of course these are all chipped up and beat up because these are the actual ones that I played with. And what's interesting about all these to begin with, just as the McDonald's toys, they didn't just come with a Happy Meal. You had to buy a Happy Meal or a large sandwich, and then you had the option to buy a set. I'm not sure if they just had them all, or if you had to kind of wait, you know, week by week or so, which one they cycled through. I'm not sure how they did that. And I really wanted to try and find the price, but I can find the price of this nowhere. The original retail price. After an extensive search, I did find the original retail price. Not from my own research, but by begging other people to find it on Twitter. <laughs> so big time thank you to at you don't know B. Give him a follow, because he found an original poster advertisement from inside McDonald's that says the price of just $1.59 for a set with purchase of large sandwich or happy meal. I asked him how he even found that. We checked old eBay uh, auctions of old McDonald's signs, and somebody paid $150 for the sign. Yikes. But thankfully the information was on the sign. Thanks to him. Follow him. And you can follow me at MBX Films on Twitter. But here we have the Falcon. Uh, all, the, all of these are kind of, kind of compressed or expanded depending on how big the original is. Here he's definitely got shortened up wings, and the feature of all these is that they have uh, a wheel set on the bottom. And they do have like a seat for the figure, and then they can kind of play that way. So I wanted all these as a kid. They were just really interesting that they uh, had pretty decent uh, five points of articulation figures, both legs, and both arms going, and the head and everything. And they looked pretty good for, I mean, they were just really McDonald's toys, not Happy Meal toys per se, but uh, offered at McDonald's only. And these aren't going to transform into the Megazord or anything, but kind of interesting to play more with the ranger using their zord. I think that was what was cool in the movie is that each one got to use their zord more than they ever used on the show. Usually they summon them all up and then just form the megazord right away. So here we have yellow ranger and then a lot of them would come with different arms like if they had a chop hand or a fist. And the white ranger had two fists, yellow ranger has a chop and a, a fist here. And it does have the female body form uh, because in the show this costume uh, this character in the original Japanese was played by a, a male character, so here they're kind of trying to say uh, these are the movie costumes, in a sense. Which again is interesting because the movie starts and they have the dino kind of logos actually on the costume. On the show they didn't have these logos on their costumes, uh, but all the action figures always had them for some reason. So in the movie, their movie costumes actually have like a logo of like a their animal, you know, the saber tooth that matches the helmet here. But by the sh this time on the show, she would have moved on to using the griffin zord from a saber tooth. And then in the movie, we get the bear. So they go from the saber tooth symbol to uh, they do get a bear logo on her, on all their chests. All of them get a matching to what their zord becomes in the movie. Which that was kind of a drop ball for me, probably budget wise, that they didn't show what zord they had first to go on the whole quest to get these. Their newer ones, which is just from a different season of the show that they were kind of chopping up and using the footage of in Japan. 
So the bear looks pretty good. With, again, this has to be uh, not like moving legs or anything because they're doing the wheel vehicle sort of thing. She does the same deal. But it looks pretty nice where they've painted, you know, eyes. It's a couple different colors on them. I think they all have about three colors, which is probably about all they really had. Pink Ranger who has a chop and a fist but flipped from the Yellow Ranger. And then that female body again because Pink Ranger is always a female character. So some missing white that should be on the helmet there. It's just all solid pink instead of having its white bits. But again, this is a McDonald's toy, so what are you going to do? Uh, but her crane sword is really like like a big old jet and everything. Looks a lot impressive next to the other ones that it's the same size because hers is usually a lot smaller kind of vehicle compared to the others in, in the movies and shows and things. Blue Ranger missing a couple uh, white specks or, or silver here in the helmet, but he's got double chop. He's all about the chop. He's karate chopping everybody, I guess. Uh, the wolf, which again looks pretty good like the bear where you have the legs even though it's just a roller kind of vehicle. You know, he has the eyes painted in red and everything, so... Pretty cool. Black Ranger is also a double chop. And we have the frog, which again looks pretty cool the way they had the head come out more. So it didn't look exactly like wolf and bear. He's a little unique that way. So I did have the Red Ranger. Uh, the Zora's long gone, but I must have been going through a phase or something because uh, this guy has seen the business end of a magnifying glass. I'm not sure what prompted me to go crazy on here other than I was probably obsessed with melting stuff with magnifying glasses at the time. <laughs> but uh, we don't need that anyway. We have a brand new one. So I'll open up here. Red Ranger with the Ape Ninja Zord. And these were all Falcon, Bear, Crane, Wolf, Frog. This will be the Ape. Just has a tearaway plastic to get it open. Oh, it still smells like fry grease. So you got a nice bubble there. Insert that he's laying in. Probably because it has moving parts and these vehicles don't. Here's a brand new shiny uh, ape. So what's funny here that the ape it's like very gorilla. It, it looks a lot better in the movie than the show. Let's just say that as far as, hey, it's an ape. I do have all the original Zords here. The the real toy, the real transforming one that turns into the Megazord. Um, which one looks more like an ape to you? <laughs> uh, that's what always kind of bothered me uh, with the Red Ranger for this. That um, you know, starts out with the... Tyrannosaurus, of course, so we had the Tyrannosaurus Zord. Uh, then he switched uh, to the dragon, the red dragon, which looked like a really awesome kind of, you know, old, ancient looking dragon design. And then he went to this on the show, the ape, quote unquote. Yeah, well, I didn't much like the downgrade, although it did have its own little weapon, but a lot of times the Red Ranger Zord would fight a monster on his own, and I don't think the ape did a whole lot of fighting, because, well, Clearly he's got some sort of traditional Japanese thing going on with... I think this this face is kind of an, an ape drawing, like from ancient kind of things, with that beard. But obviously he has some kind of, you know, combat gear on, so not exactly the most ape-y thing. And then his legs aren't going to move or anything. But this is a lot closer to what it is in the movie, where the ape actually kind of tackles one of the big uh, monsters in the movie. And it's actually kind of cool. This one, he doesn't sit either. It's uh, There's no seat, just the way it's kind of standing up. I guess I didn't want him laying down weird like all these, so the Red Ranger actually stands in his Zord, which does make it look a little more unique. Then what also always bugged me was, you know, the movie is its own thing. Uh, it does introduce these Zords, but then the show had to kind of reintroduce it in its own way, which is really weird. Just the events of the movie didn't just, you don't watch the movie and continue watching the show and all of a sudden they have these. Uh, they still had to do their own story and transition. It's kind of interesting. I found a weird article uh, talking about they kind of did the best of McDonald's toys, like re-released some and kind of re remade some and available. And one of the best ofs was this, just this, the figure of the Red Ranger. Except the article was like, this is Jason, the Red Ranger. Oh, it's like, no, this by here, it was Rocky. Uh, they had the red, black and yellow Ranger switch uh, characters in the show because the, the other three were leaving the show. 
So they kind of made up, you know, they were high school students, they were going to go to this peace summit kind of thing, so they needed to go off and, and do that, and so they transferred their power, and so the movie, you have the, the new rangers in there, so really this would be uh, Rocky represented here with the movie Red Ranger, not the TV show Red Ranger. But uh, the best of didn't come with the ape, because that probably would have been confusing to reissue where he has the Tyrannosaurus and he has the ape, and it would have just been crazy. But got the Red Ranger back here. I did show the original toy, the Red Ranger, this is, which I felt was like a downgrade just because the other Red Ranger Zords always did some fighting on their own, but this is just the arm of the Megazord. Just kind of a bit of a downgrade there, but I was just going to show that, you know, the frog. Here is the frog from the show, or the original Super Sentai, the same, you know, they... These are the toys they would make in Japan, and then they would just bring here when we would uh, do our own version in the U.S. of the show. Obviously way cooler here with the moving parts and everything. They never did a true movie version of all the Zords. Because these that I'm showing here are just of the show and what they made, uh, you know, the footage of the show and things like that. And They never really made recreations that looked like the movie, the CGI movie uh, appearances, which looked very different than what they ended up using in the show. Like with that ape zord that looked completely different uh, to the toy like this. That, you know, is the combinable one that, you know, this becomes an arm and everything. So if you really just like the movie, these are probably the closest appearance because they never did an actual uh, recreation of just the movie zord. So here's where you can see that the Pink Ranger kind of got an upgrade. Actually, the McDonald's toy is a bigger vehicle than the actual one because this becomes the head of the Megazord, so it's just smaller because it's just the head that sits on the top of all the others as a body. When you kind of turn it into her jet kind of crane, it's actually smaller than the McDonald's toy. <laughs> so that's why this is kind of cool to play around with. She had a bigger individual Zord represented there. Got the bears here, and you can see where they they had a lot of the detail, but they're not exactly the same designs anyway. These are based off of the movie. It had crazy CGI and like weird shiny appearances and stuff. So I'm just comparing these just for the sake of showing more than a lot of other videos and things and, and guides I saw that seem kind of lacking to me. So here we got the big old falcon, which obviously they did quite a bit more than this here, especially the wingspan, obviously. And this one's kind of turning an off-white, just from age and kind of being cheaper plastic and things. <coughs> Interesting note about the chest pieces here. Well, the White Ranger costume in its entirely is from a whole different show. Uh, that mid one with uh, the White Tiger and they had, you know, Griffin, Firebird, Unicorn, Lion, and the Dragon. And it was just interesting that the toys always had the chest logo. I uh, like this. Here's like an original Blue Ranger and it had this Triceratops from the first uh, season and such. And they never really released uh, movie figures per se. They just redid the figure uh, with this metallic, but they did uh, change the logos where here you see the wolf like the McDonald's toy, like in the movie, he gets the wolf zord. This is the closest like action figure that they just kind of redid it. Uh, the movie didn't even, the movie costumes weren't a metallic look anyway. They were glossier than maybe the TV show Spandex, but so these are just kind of reissues with just slightly different appearance and then different logos. So these figures are actually a little more shaped. Uh, you can see some of the texture and things that they're trying to be the movie costumes. So there's not really been, I don't think, a whole lot of straight movie Power Ranger representation you know, of this movie. So that's what the real importance of these McDonald's toys is definitely representing like that movie specifically, not the show or anything like that. Probably would have been interesting for a little figure of uh, Ivan Ooze or something and then his little vehicle of one of the uh, machines that he uses in the film. If you want to see more Power Rangers stuff from this time period, like if you remember Spin Fighters and things like that, uh, check out some of these uh, Power Ranger related videos that I've been doing. And I actually have a lot more planned for Power Ranger related stuff, so stick around here and think you'll like what you'll see. So I'll see you in the next video. The whole collection's back together. Wah! <laughs>